Welcome back guys, and in this video I'm going to get this safety can opener to work again. So if you're like me and you have one of these can openers, these are known as the safety can openers where they grab onto a can and they cut from underneath the lid in order to not cut you when you actually hold on to the sides of it. But the bad thing about these, if they stop working, they don't come apart as easily as a normal can opener, which has big screws and stuff on the side. You can just take it out, clean the bits, and put it back in. So if you're having the issue where it's really not even catching on, and you might have to turn it, and it, it might catch, it's kind of rubbing against the side. It's really just not doing anything except for eating up the side of the can. It's just not really working. Oh, it caught on that one. If it's not working, or it's not working as well as it used to be, let's get into this and figure out what the problem is. So basically what happens, most people don't do this, but they don't clean it. And when you don't clean it, then it gets gunked up and it gets stuck. For these, you have this solid piece that goes all the way through that spins. So that is almost never a problem. The biggest issue that I found, what always happens to me, is actually the cutting wheel that's right here. What happens is little gunk gets stuck in there, juices, whatever from your cans that you've been trying to cut, it'll get stuck in here, dried, and this thing will seize up and it won't spin. So the only thing that you need is some WD-40 and some sort of object. I have a flathead screwdriver, but you need something that is going to fit in this little crevice in here, in between the wheel and the side. That's the only thing that you're gonna need. You can choose anything that fits in there. This is what I have. And the most important is WD-40, because WD-40 is going to break down any of the crud that's in there, and it's also gonna break down the uh, any of the old grease, because the grease can dry up and get bad in here, even if you do keep this thing clean. Also, if you do clean this and you use water and you don't dry it properly and get the entire wheel clean, which you can't really do in this, it's gonna get rusty. Yet again, WD-40 is your best friend for that situation too. So it's extremely simple. We're just going to spritz some in here. There we go. And let it sit. It's gonna fill up this little well that's in here. Just let it sit in there. Maybe push it around. So now that it has been sitting for a little while, it's had enough time to soak into the sides here where it's up against the side of the plastic and all the places where it might need to eat away the gross stuff that's in there. We're gonna take our tool and we're going to pry it up against the side of the plastic and the wheel itself. And we're gonna try to break it and get it to turn. Now, once we start getting this thing to turn a little bit, then that is a good sign. Like right now, I can't get this thing to turn at all. So I'm just slowly gonna work this, try to get it this wheel to move just a little bit. Once it starts moving a little bit, then that means the WD-40 is starting to penetrate down and it's only gonna get easier. So I'm just gonna go in both sides, left and right, just trying to get this wheel to start moving again. And another tip, if you're having trouble getting it to move with your screwdriver or whatever else you're using, what you can do is make sure that it's been soaking it's all nice and lubed and there's a lot of WD-40 in there. And you can go ahead and put it on a can and try to get it started like you usually would. At least get it to the point where it'll start to grip like it would start slipping before and use that leverage to try to move the wheel. Like right now I have it and I'm kind of jerking it around a little bit just so it gets the wheel moving. And because that wheel's moving, it's working around that WD-40 and it should start moving it around a lot more. 
And that's what helped me. Here we go. And once you actually start getting this wheel to move a little bit, like I have it here, just keep rotating it. And it's just going to get easier and easier and easier as you keep rotating it. And make sure you have enough WD-40 in here. So give it a little tiny squirt to make sure it's it's got enough in there. And keep doing this. Keep rotating that wheel. And then it should finally, after a while, be nice and loose to where you can easily rotate it. Because that's your biggest issue, is when you're trying to open a can, this little cutting wheel down here isn't moving with this piece right here that's grabbing onto it. Well guys, I hope that helped you save a few bucks on buying a new one and using some stuff that you have laying around the house to fix your can opener. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you can get some behind the scenes stuff that hasn't happened yet and unreleased content that no one else has seen. And if you haven't already, watch that video. And if you watch that video, watch that video. And if you've watched both of those videos already, make sure you subscribe down here. Yeah, watch this stuff. It's awesome. And if you've watched that and that and subscribed, 